I've been doing this for 11 years. This rim. The bike. And the run. And my goal was to qualify for Kona. Dan McCarroll ran marathons for over 15 years before tackling his next challenge. However, his quest for self-discovery did not stop at triathlons. I said to myself, well, it looks like you can do these things. What would it take to get to Kona? Like, tell me about all these medals. What are these? These medals I've been accumulating since 1992, when I started doing marathons. How does an athlete qualify for the Ironman World Championship in Kona, Hawaii? I'm called Cambridge, Maryland. Last year, in September, I won the slots. I won this event in my division that entitled me to compete at Kona in two weeks. What do you anticipate as being your greatest challenge on race day, Dan? I have the good genes, and my body's holding out spectacular. It's just endurance that's an issue, not breakdown. It's endurance. Dedication and self-sacrifice, qualities that define an Iron Man. It's been very rewarding. Uh, I met my goal. I'm here. Well, in my age group, there must there might be about uh, 20 people. It's going to be a long day. It's going to be a hot day. It's going to be a windy day. We challenge. The whole thing, the swim, the bike, and the run will be a challenge. Hey Doc, tomorrow's all about what? Tomorrow's all about the clock. All about the clock. 17 hours. Emotions uh, are weird. You get anxious and then you get uh, somewhat excited. Super athletes from all over the world. So that's it, Mike. I'm going in. Four miles swimming in the Kailua Kona Bay may appear simple. However, do not be fooled by the Pacific currents of the Hawaiian Islands. We just kind of keep stroking to come in after two hours. Which is exactly what Dan does. He finishes the swim in just over two hours, rushes through transition in 15 minutes, and he's off to his second challenge, the bike. The Ironman World Championship course is 140.6 miles long, and 112 miles is on the grueling bike. Dan cycles the first eight miles through the town of Kona. And the Carol, 
Energized spectators fill the streets with excitement while adrenaline surges through the endorphin-charged athletes racing forward. Dan pedals his first eight miles in 30 minutes. Turning north, Dan makes the 1,000-foot, 50-mile climb toward the town of Havi. My age, you know, what I do, what's remarkable about what I do is that I do it at my age. But I'm close to all the cutoffs. Dan is three hours into the bike course's rugged terrain when we catch up with him at mile 41. Dan has an additional uphill 20 miles north to reach the turnaround. And by mid-afternoon, the Ho'o' Mamuku trade winds whip across the northwestern side of the Big Island. Every triathlete knows the climb to Havi and the headwinds test the strongest of Ironmen. But you never know what the day brings in these things. You never know. Over the next several hours, the Ho'o' Mamuku winds, combined with extreme temperatures and terrain, significantly impact Dan's miles per hour on the bike. When you're, you're on the bike, and you've just biked maybe 50 miles, and you know you have, you have five minutes to get to that cutoff, and you know you're not going to be able to make it. That's, that's kind of um, disconcerting. Dan must bike 31 more miles in just over two hours. He makes the next two bike cutoffs. However, Dan does not cross the finish line in time to continue to the marathon. Just the knowledge that you're continuing. It's another year of uh, Iron Man stuff. Just add to that picture, the tattoos. So we'll see you in Kona, Doc. Right Look for Dan to continue his quest for one more year. One more tattoo, uh, finish Kona.